again, YouTubes, this is Beanie Bomb, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac! Oh, constipation. I'm just kidding. I- that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so let us start. Select Isaac. Let's hope I do better in this run than I did the last run. Uh, I haven't played in quite a while. Whoop, whoop, there we go. There's the controls that I need, but not the controls that I deserve. But oh, wait, it's the other way around. I apologize. I've been watching a lot of Batman because um, uh, I got the the Batman 3 DVD box set thingamajig. Oh, Bane is freaking awesome. A boss. He's he's a he's an awesome. He's really cool. <laughs> Everyone's complaining about his dubbing, like how bad it is, but I think it sounds pretty cool. It's like um, he gets inside of your head because he's just that powerful. It's neat. I like it. Whatever. Don't judge me. Uh, so far, we've got quite a bit of bombs, which is good. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good? Bien? No? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about your head there. Oh, you're welcome. Let's go in the item room. What is this? Piercing shots. Awesome. And I'm wearing an Indian head thingy, but Jake. Sweet. Binding. Binding. I mean, Isaac, you're looking pretty stylish right now, if I do say so myself. That's a good look for you. Alright, let's go this way now. Oh, hi. Oh, I see what piercing shots do. That's really good. That's that's really pretty freaking awesome. It means I can, like, super hit enemies. Or, not super hit, but, like, uh, get quad feeds and, and get leet no scopes with 360s in them and whatnot. Pills here. Uh, yeah. Bombs are key. Alrighty. So, can I use a bomb to... Whoa! That is cool! Yeah! I did it! Unless... Yeah! Bombs are key. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I do not have any money. What is that? What does this do? Compass? I don't know what that does. But, let's go fight the boss now. Because... Oh! I wasn't here before. Oh god. Oh dear! Oh! It's a cover shooter! Da -da 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 -da. Hello? Hello? Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh jeez. Gee minitney. Oh. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. Why are you staying still? Come on, bro. Come at me. At come me. Yay, a heart. I needed health. Well, that was a useless room. Oh well. Uh, did we get everything? I think we went everywhere. Unless I didn't go down. Uh, nope. I went down. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Ahem. <clears throat> Through the door and to the boss battle. So how you guys doing? Good? Bad? But ugh, the Duke of Flies. Ugh. He's got a stomach all stitched. That's kinda disturbing. Alright. Die you fly duke. You will no longer reproduce with your disgusting fly mates. Prepare yourself for utter decimation, Duke of Flies. I will win you. Uh, uh, look at him. He's already that low on health. Shh, please. I fought harder things in my sleep. Oh, yeah. I actually have. It's pretty cool. Uh, since this game is pretty nightmarish already, maybe it would be a good time to talk about a nightmare I had. It was like a week ago. It's pretty interesting, actually. All right. So, hold on, let me just, BAM! Okay, oh god, alright, so, oh good thing he dropped health like a boss, uh, so, alright, let me tell you where it started out. I was on a very hilly kind of plane, I guess you could say, it was like, what was it like, uh, it was like the side of a mountain, but it was all grass. Uh, the grass was a very dull green, let's see, range up, awesome, mom's un- why does that range me up? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. I'm not- Oh god, I'm wearing it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I was in like a very hilly area. The grass was a very pale green. And... Oh, that's the worst. And it, it was extremely foggy. So I was walking, right? But I wasn't slipping or anything. It was just like, like a first-person shooter, kind of, where you just walk and uh, like... You know, it's just a camera floating around. It's kind of like what that was. Um, 
But I was walking around, and at the bottom of the hill, there is this really, really big, like, modernized style temple, kind of. Whoa, what is that? What are you? That's weird. Okay, but it, it was like a modernized temple. And so, uh, I didn't go inside of it, if I can remember. I don't believe I did. Oh, troll bomb. Uh, but there is this guy standing there, um, and... So I, I looked at him, and he just he just vanished. And I was like, okay. Um, so I looked around again, and he was there, right? And then he uh, he started. What did he do? I think he shoved. His, yeah, he shoved his fingers into my, either my back or my chest. I can't remember. And then I woke up in the dream, so I wasn't actually awake. So uh, so I got up, and then I went to school in the dream. Uh, what do I do? Wheel of Fortune? Uh, let's use the Wheel of Fortune to actually know what that does. Uh, so, I went to school in the dream, and... Hmm, can't seem to do anything with that. Uh, and it was it was all normal, right? Oh! Oh, Isaac, why? <laughs> oh yeah, never a good idea to find pills and eat them. Uh, but it, it was just as... It was, uh, where was I in the story? So yeah, it was, it was all normal and everything. But then, like, I blinked or look a looked away and blinked and everything. I was in, like, the quad area of my school. You guys have that in your high schools, like a big quad area. Uh, I blinked and looked away, and it was just as foggy as it was as my in my dream. In my dream. Like, the previous area I was in the dream. So, but my friends were still standing there, and they were looking at me, and their faces were all pale and, and solemn, and it was, it was very... They were, like... It looked almost as if their skin was transparent. So, uh, I, I blinked again, and they were gone, right? So, uh, I saw the guy that was, that shoved fingers into my back or chest, uh, like, from a distance, because there's, like, the quad, and then there's the area that goes to the upstairs classes and whatnot, and that's, like, a big open hallway, I guess you could say. It's like a walking plane, but, uh... So I saw him standing there, so I, I was walking to the gym, I don't, I don't know why, and I went into the locker room, but except the locker room was bigger, like it was twice as big as it usually was, and oh, well, poor Isaac, he looks very strange, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, it was bigger and it was just as foggy, wow, I could shoot very fast now, I think that increased my fire speed. And, uh, he was there. So I was walking around and it was kind of like a maze, right? And, uh, but here's the weird part. I found him and I was, like, f trying to fight him because it by now it was a lucid dream, which means you know you're dreaming and you could pretty much do anything. And usually when I'm lucid dreaming, uh, better pills. That's pretty cool. Uh, what's on my face? I don't even know, but, so... That I, I had the feeling that it was pretty much useless to fight him because I wasn't doing anything to him and I was lucid dreaming which is bad because I can you know like I said before I can do anything in that dream so I, I was like it's useless so I, I tried to wake up right like because I heard my alarm clock going but I was still dreaming it was it was strange and when I tried to wake up every time I tried he would hold me like he put his hands on my shoulders and he would just hold me there um, so, I, I finally managed to wake up after he was just digging his fingers into my chest again. And that, that woke me up out of fear, I believe. But it was it was weird and terrifying all at the same time. So, uh, yeah. Tell me about your guys' nightmare experience in the comments section down below. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so, that's it. Uh, now back to the game. Oh, whoa, that's a plethora of enemies. <laughs> That's weird, okay. Well, with my power- Oh, jeez, I'm very low health. Oh, gosh. Am I gonna die? Is this the place where I die? Oh, is this the resting point of Isaac's poor body? Ah, oh, we shall not know until the time comes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no! Well, at least I finished my story. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm cracking my knuckles in case you hear any cracking. Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. Cool stuff. Goodbye, cruel world. XO, hugs and kisses, Isaac.
So, yeah, that was it <laughs> for this episode. Sorry, I got briefly interrupted. But that was it for this episode. Uh, I hope you liked it. The commentary style was a bit different this time. It was more like a chilled chaos where he tells you stories and stuff. But um, if you liked the episode, leave a like down below and tell me what series you want me to record next. And I will do that for you because I can't really decide. Um, so, yeah, I will see you all later.